All right, Faceless Tech, just a little uh, PSA here, a uh, public service announcement about um, using the Xbox 360 chat pads and the Raspberry Pi. Um, I remember seeing a while ago, uh, Ben Heck made um, a basic computer, a computer that runs basic, with a microcontroller screen and an Xbox 360 chat pad. Uh, and I thought, well, I wonder if you could use that with a Raspberry Pi, because I want to make a Raspberry Pi portable. So I looked around, found a blog post that some guy had wrote some drivers for the Raspberry Pi, and I thought, great. This looks good. This is promising. So, bought an Xbox 360 chat pad from eBay. Um, waiting for it to come. Whilst I was waiting for it to come, I went into my local uh, CX shop and found one 50p, which is this one. Um, hooked up some wires to it, hooked it up to the Raspberry Pi, installed the drivers, nothing. I messaged the guy back and forth. He gave me a few hints and tips on how to get it working. Still nothing. Looked around, got a bit obsessed, looked around the internet, found a few other people that I had success with theirs and I thought well, what's the difference between mine and theirs and then it dawned on me they were using fake clones and a lot back the original guy he was using a clone so basically the drivers were written for a clone chat pad not original one not sure what software different because they both work with an Xbox 360 so they can't differ t too much but there's probably just enough um, because um, but the thing is these Xbox 360 chat pads have a pick chip on board which um, in the Ben Heck video, he reprograms it so it just spits ASCII out over serial. But um, I've since found a blog post where they've changed the because they've changed the chip. They're now Microsoft branded chips, um, and you cannot reprogram them anymore, which is um, you know unfortunate. Because uh, I was just looking around and I just found tons and tons and stuff. Um, so yeah, the good the, the good bad news is the clone ones work. The clone ones are cheap, they're about fiver, but they're also horrible. They have these horrible membrane buttons which miss button presses and just blah just horrible and plasticky but um yeah if you are going to use one you're gonna have to get um a, a clone one unfortunately the you know the cheap cheap and nasty but yeah and um, but yeah as usual there'll be a blog post in the description with a little bit more detail and um, a few links to other stuff i found um other projects and that so i uh, just want to tie it all together in a bit of a video so anyway uh, yeah thanks for watching bye